What's going on everyone? My name is Josh Soros and welcome to my channel. Today is a long awaited uh, video for you guys. I've been waiting to do this. I finally got it done. I uh, converted my Jeep into a camper and I want to show you guys the tour. Let's get right into it. gist of everything then I'm gonna get into all the uh, details of what everything is and why I built I built this all myself um, I didn't actually do a video of me building it I decided I was just gonna do a tour of it afterwards to show you all and show you guys what's gonna be coming within the next few months and the next uh, year really to be honest I'm gonna be traveling all around Ontario and Canada trying to get the best abandoned buildings trying to find a bunch of things renting out the best uh, haunted spots to do investigations on and it's gonna be insane, guys. We, we're on our first trip. Um, we are in Killinary, Ontario. We have done um, Burwash Correctional Facility. Insane place. The video is gonna be coming out on the next video, which will be Friday. So, start things off. I got this little section here. So this is like a kind of a storage area. I got my extra clothes, dirty clothes down here. Then I also have my cooler. And I have uh, some extra little stuff down here. Just uh, We brought some extra stuff with us this time for uh, a bonfire. Normally I'm not going to be doing bonfires, so that bag's not going to be there. This right here is just some two extra tubs that I have. There's a bunch of bugs over here, so if you see me swatting stuff off, it's me getting these bugs off me. But um, this is my extra storage right over here. I got a little hatch that leads to cooler storage. So I could open up my cooler whenever I need to from the inside. Right here, guys, is um, my shelving unit I built. This shelf really isn't that useful right now. I just have it for things that um, I use by my bed when I am sleeping. I just uh, have things charging. This right here, guys, is the brains of the entire thing, my Jackery unit. This is my Jackery 300. It's uh, one of the smaller units, but honestly, it's been doing amazing for me. Like, I used it all night. And it still has 87% battery. I charged my stuff. I had a fan going all night running off this power. And it's, it's honestly, it's fantastic. So this is the brains of the entire unit. Without that, I wouldn't have any power. I would need solar panels or something like that. And I honestly didn't feel like doing solar panels on the Jeep. I would have to put them up top here. And I didn't really feel like doing that. So, um... Maybe in the future, but not right now. This is just my tablet that I use to find some locations. I have data on it, so if I ever run out of spot with locations, or uh, run out of some locations, I could do some uh, research and find some stuff there. As I said earlier, these are just my tubs. I got my medicine down there, and I got my uh, chargers and everything like that in here. Let's just show you guys the point of this whole thing. Like, look at these views that I'm going to be... Look at like Look where I'm camping right now. A beautiful quarry. There's a lot of bugs here, but um, I can't complain. Like you can see a little beaver dam over here, which is just beautiful. Like this this spot is just gorgeous. Waking up to this in the morning is just uh, ideal, that's for sure. So let's get right into my kitchen section. By kitchen, I just mean a pull-out camper spot that I got, a little stove. So this is my kitchen section. I got my water bottle up here, which is always filled with uh, ice water. So if whenever I need to drink, I could drink from it. Right down here, I got my food storage. Got a bunch of cans, some paper towels, a bunch of uh, Mr. Noodles. Easy stuff to cook on the road because I don't want to be making uh, some steaks out here. Because it's a little difficult to do when you're on the road. This is my mattress. I got this from Amazon. It's honestly 
Uh, it was quite the purchase. Like, I'm happy I made this purchase just because I had a, a blow-up mattress before. And testing it out for a night, it destroyed my back. But this mattress right here is like 5 inches thick of uh, memory foam. So it molds to your body and it honestly makes for a great sleep. Right here. Right here's my kitchen section. I got my garbage bags that I normally keep over here that they just get tucked into the inside when I close the door. Then right over here is where I got my stove hidden. I just pull it out. Obviously pop a uh, gas in it, but I'm not gonna do that for the purpose of this video. I like to have it like this. Then I have all this extra spot for, uh, I made some cutting boards that slide and they can also get tucked into the bottom if I need to. These are, um, these were extremely, I'm happy that I built these because without this, I wouldn't have any counter space or anything like that to uh, cut some stuff up. I got cutting boards down here. So I'll show you guys down here. I got my pots and pans. I got uh, some plates and some bowls. And I also got uh, cutting boards with utensils, all that sort of stuff's down there. So I'm getting eaten up by bugs. But uh, yeah, so that's that put the stove away, it's pretty easy. Let it cool down first. Then just pop it in. Just to show you guys, I got myself a fire extinguisher just to be safe. If anything were to happen, I could put out the fire, keep things safe as much as possible. That's the kitchen section. So let's get right into the uh, cot and where I'm sleeping. So right here, guys, is how I get in. These black flies are just destroying me, though. So this right here is my bed. It's uh, It gets a little warm in here, but I got to build some mesh for the windows so I could have the windows down while I'm sleeping so it doesn't get too, too hot. I built this uh, extender for the mattress because the mattress doesn't actually fully go to the uh, six feet. So I built this, which when the seat's fully back, it's tight against that and uh, it, you have enough room for two people to sit in the front because right now the front seat is fully pushed forward. And then once you need to sleep, pop the seat forward, pop this down and sleep. It's pretty sweet. Right over here too, I got an extra little storage for garbage. Then I also got my uh, windshield wiper fluids down there. Then here is where I keep all my filming gear. Uh, it is supposed to be a lock box. It's got a little lock on it. I honestly don't know how safe this is, but um, it's not that sturdy, but the the thoughts of behind it is the door is going to be the lock for it. So once the door is closed, no one will actually be able to open that unless they open my door. And I normally have the alarms fully enabled on my Jeep. So the alarm will go off when someone tries to open the door. If they were to bust out the window, they're not going to be able to get stuff unless they pop the lock and open the door. Once they do that, the alarm will go off. So things are pretty safe in here. So if you're planning on robbing me, um, probably not the best plan. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. The front seats just folded up. I keep my clothes on the driver's seat while I'm driving back here or while I'm uh, camping. Back here is normally where I keep the clothes and everything else, just storage wise. <coughs> it's honestly, I've been loving it, absolutely loving it in here. It's ideal for me. It makes for some great camping, honestly. So I can't complain about that. Like uh, I got this beautiful view, so I really can't complain about that. Um, it just makes my life a lot easier, especially when I'm doing all these travels. I could actually go further out and not have to worry about getting a hotel or anything like that. I could just stay out in the Jeep, just find a nice spot like this and camp. So it honestly is ideal.
another video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is uh, gonna be put to use for the next year and a half, two years of me just exploring Canada, just exploring the states. Once the borders open, I do plan to go across the border and, and uh, explore the states as well. So yeah, you, you'll be seeing a lot more of this. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys wanna see travel vlogs, if you guys wanna see anything in depth about this Jeep build. I can let you guys know how I did it, stuff like that. So just let me know in the comments and I'll be able to do that for you guys. And as always, drop a big fat like if you guys like this video and you guys like the view and you guys want to see more of this. Love you, take care, and peace.